subscribe or you're gonna have to eat this slug that i found in my front yard yesterday hey guys it's silvery at lush xxi here and today i am doing my british grand prix predictions tomorrow is fp1 so you know what time it is predictions okay anyways so now yeah, so now I'm just going to do the predictions. So, first of all, thank you all for watching my videos. My shorts videos keep getting like a thousand in like one hour. So, thank you. That's really good. I never would have imagined from like 2018 I used to make videos. But they were private. I never would have thought that I would ever get this far. Even though it's not that far. So, this year, my goal is to hit 100 subscribers. My brother already did it. So, yeah. So, t today, I'm going to do my predictions for the British Grand Prix. Because, as you know, FP1 is tomorrow. So, first, I am saying... For qualifying results, I'm saying Leclerc B1, Verstappen P2, Russell P3, Hamilton P4, Saints P5, or Perez P5, and Saints P6. Now for the midfield challenger, the highest midfielder, which would be P7. For P7, I am saying Esteban Ocon. Esteban Ocon is going to be the midfield challenger. The, the He's going to be the best of the rest in quality. Okay, so now for the race results, I'm saying race winner. Okay. Before you say anything, don't judge me for my answer, because I know. But I am his, I am a great fan of his, but the, that's not why I chose him. I say Lewis Hamilton is going to be the race winner. The reason I say that is because his luck at this track is very, very good. Very good. I mean, he's won seven of the races here, or eight, eight, sorry, eight. Jesus, got so much. I think he's going to do it again in 2022. I mean, I've seen that there's going to be some upgrades for Mercedes. I think Mercedes are going to come in strong. That's why I said Russell would be up in P3. So, yeah, I think Lewis is P1. P2, I'm saying Charles Leclerc. Leclerc has always, always been on the podium at this track. Always. He finished P2 last, last year behind Hamilton. So, yeah, I don't know. Third place, George Russell. I think George Russell is going to have a good race as well finishing p3 hamilton has been having the good races russell and mercedes they for the past three races have been doing pretty good so who knows so yeah i'm gonna say that's the top three now i'm saying in p4 carlos sainz p4 carlos sainz and p Five. I am going to go Esteban Ocon. Yes, Esteban Ocon is going to be P5. I think the Red Bulls are going to have mechanical issues. I think they will. Because I have a feeling Red Bull, I can just feel that Red Bull are going to struggle at this track. They struggled a ton last year. No car finished in the points. And we know what happened last season. But hopefully Max doesn't get paid back. Oh, God. Anyways, um, 
yeah, that's what I think is going to happen with the two rebels. So I think in P6, we're going to have... Hmm. I'm going to say we're going to have... Est- no, I already said him. Lando Norris. Lando Norris and the McLaren. Look, all right, I know Lando has not, and McLaren, they have not been having the best of seasons, but I still think that they have the pace to be be up there in the in this race. I think Lando has pretty good race craft. I know after that Canada, he had a bad race, but his car was very bad. So, yeah. But in P7, I'm saying Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly had a really good race in 2020. I think Gasly is going to get some uh, points. So, yeah, that's my top seven. And now for driver of the day. For driver of the day, I am going to say Lewis because Lewis, he's going to win. That's my prediction. So Lewis is driver of the day. Now, for the, um, what do you call it? Afric, um, the, uh, sorry guys. Mm, I keep forgetting what it's called. Driver of the Weekend. I don't know how I keep forgetting that. Driver of the Weekend, I'm saying Lewis again. Team of the Weekend, I'm saying Mercedes. I think they're going to do really well. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to do well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, I think they're going to resolve their porpoising issues. Um, I saw that the uh, F1's making some uh, cost cap changes that should help with the porpoising. So I think that Mercedes are going to do well. Mercedes have a really fast car. It's just that they have porpoising issues. And their car isn't as good as Ferrari and Red Bull. I noticed that. I know that they're, they're certainly, certainly the third fastest car. It's just that they're not quick enough to the two cars ahead of them. So now for the, the struggle of the weekend, we're going to do, do team and driver. Struggle of the weekend, I'm going to say Valtteri. What? No, not Valtteri Bottas. Struggle of the weekend I am going to go with um, Verstappen, I guess. I guess they're going to say, no, not Verstappen, Perez. I think, no, I don't know. I don't, I seriously don't know who it's going to be. I mean, Verstappen's good at this track. Uh, Perez. Struggles. I'm going to have to say, I don't want to say it, but Perez. Sergio Perez is going to be the struggle of this weekend. Um, Last season, you should have seen him. I mean, yeah, he was slow, off the pace, kept spinning, kept making mistakes, crashing. In the sprint, he spun out. He wasn't, he was very far off of Max. So, yeah, I think that Perez is going to be struggling the weekend for drivers. Team, I'm going to go with Red Bull. Because, first of all, like I said, they're going to have mechanical issues, in my opinion. So, I'm just going to say Red Bull. <sighs> Sorry for that yawn. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so, what should I, alright, so I guess that is the end of this video, and I will see you all tomorrow for more practice and everything, so, bye. Oh, also, if you didn't subscribe, 
that slug is coming for you.